Dear Lord, I know you probably aren't inclined to help me out very much since I haven't been a very upstanding individual. So all I ask is that you please don't help them zombies. <laughs> Welcome back to Ravenhurst. And uh, yeah, it is Horde Night 14, and we uh, spent the last episode, if you didn't catch it, uh, preparing for Horde Night. I did the best that I felt I could do with the very limited resources and skills uh, that Ravenhurst has bestowed upon me uh, up to this point. So yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully things will work out. I did put the land claim block down, and um, we'll see how it goes. If this was a vanilla Horde 14, I wouldn't be worried about it, but you know, this is Ravenhurst, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, we ended up not fighting the uh, Zombos on Horde 7 just because we, we were not in any kind of position to be able to do that. Uh, but now, you know, we can at least shoot some arrows at them uh, and put up some kind of a um, active defense, as p p pitiful as it probably will end up being. Um, they must have just knocked a tree down out there. Uh, but anyway, we are in a pretty stout building uh, overall. It's a concrete building, and um, the Zombos should not be able to, you know, get up to our position. Um, the thing that's going to make this tough, though, is because they're moving around so much, I need them to kind of, you know, hold still long enough for me to get some arrows into them. So, yeah, if they can... If they can, like, get up against the wall, like that kind of thing, I can hit them. Well, maybe I can hit them. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but it, anyways, it's really just going to be me standing up here, attempting to shoot zombies, and probably having about a 30% success rate in actually hitting them uh, with iron arrows and a primitive bow. And if, as long as the building holds up, I think, well, you know, we can pull this off. So, yeah, uh, there's not really going to be a whole lot of commentary for me to make during this uh, so what I'll probably just do is keep the recorder running maybe do some time-lapse uh, or even just you know cut to different parts of the night as we make progress so I'll figure that out, that out in editing but uh, but I will keep the recorder running so if something crazy does happen you know we catch it on camera okay uh, also one other thing let's take a look at this really quick we have we have three, uh, 319 enemy kills. I know that's pretty pathetic for, you know, <laughs> considering that we're level 9, but 319 kills, so we'll just see how many kills we get by the end of the night, um, which, if we're lucky, it'll be 320. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's do this. Alright everybody, it is morning, and um, we had a very uneventful horde night. Um, not really a whole lot to to report. I mean, it was just... The, the main problem that I ran into is I, I couldn't see the zombies very well, both because of the red haze, but also because, you know, they, they weren't in my view for a good portion of the time. So, you know, I wasted a bunch of arrows trying to hit them, and then I finally decided, ah, screw this, I'm not going to do it anymore. And I went around and um, looted this floor of the uh, of the structure here. Uh, so in terms of Zombos that we killed, uh, 323. So we, killed, we started with 319, I think it was. I can only remember what we started with. Anyways, <laughs> we didn't do very good on the kills, but that's okay. Um, the important thing is that we survived, um, and um, we're still alive, and so there you go. All right, I'm going to put this down here and just drop a couple more things off in here because um, we had... Uh, I, I was running, uh, running out of room encumbrance, is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to grab that stuff, though, for now. Um, I mean, I'm going to come back and get all of this stuff, actually, so let's let's just make sure we're not encumbered for now. We got 57 nails out of the deal, though, so that's not too bad. And, um, just trying to see, is there anything else that'll stack? We don't need to keep that at all. Screw that, man. We don't need to keep that at all. Do I have stuff doubled up? I do. OK, 
Okay, we'll put the cloth in there and we'll put the leather in there and let's put the nails in there. Okay, so that gets us unencumbered so we can get the hell out of here. So yeah, um, the, the thing that has to happen here for this to, for me to be able to act, I mean, look at all the arrows in these guys. It wasn't that I wasn't hitting them, but <laughs> good Lord. Um, see, they have so many areas out of my my field of view that they can go uh, and it's just extremely hard to, you know to hit them so if we were to use this design again i need i need walls right underneath you know these blocks here so that uh, but with you know a couple of entrances for them to come in so that i can actually hit them um so but the main you know the main goal of this design was not to um you know was not to kill as many zombies as we could it was to make sure we didn't get killed ourselves, and that we accomplished that so that's the important thing all right well let's get the hell out of here um i'm gonna go kind of draw them to this end of the building and you know what too i mean we might as a lot of those zombies are softened up from the uh you know from the arrows we might as well just kill them and get the xp and and that sort of thing too so I'm gonna put all that stuff down there and um, I've got 79 arrows left so you know my my hit hit rate was pretty low but again it was just kind of the geez and see there's a whole new spawn of zombos out there too let's try not to get their attention uh, but like I said we might as well kill the r remainder of the blood moon Particularly since some of them are so softened up already. Oh, and get some arrows back, too. Yeah, we'll get some arrows back. Okay, come on. You've got to be almost dead with all the arrows you had in you. Come on, Biker Billy. Go down, homie. You tough son of a bitch. Okay, yeah. We've got a bunch of arrows here. Let's get those arrows back. You get a bleed, and you get a bleed, and you get a bleed, and give me my arrows. I can't believe that biker is still standing, even with all those arrows he had in him. Okay, come on, you gotta drop, man. Please, there you go. Goodness gracious. Okay, give me my arrows back. So yeah, we're getting a couple of our arrows back. Um, here, let's give you another bleed. That should take you out in a second. Oh, he's running. Okay, so we we killed the horde, <laughs> just not at nighttime. Uh, let's go inside really quick and inspect the uh, the building. Looks like we need to eat too. Uh, so let's take a couple of these. And we got another Zeke here. I think this is probably just one of the the daily spawns and not part of the horde night or he might have been part of the horde night i don't know i just want to kind of see you know what kind of damage they they did inside the building okay he's dead all right so let's see here do we we never actually looted this we might as well loot this bottom floor whilst we're in here too see what's in the nightstands we might get some decent armor um, nerdy glasses. You know what? We don't have nerdy glasses. Actually, yeah. Nice. Okay. We do now. We have pink nerdy glasses. Beautiful. I've been hitting these uh, chairs, too, because we, you know, get nails and stuff out of them. Let's kill Farmer Brown here. I tell you what, man, I have really been enjoying the pitchfork as a kind of a auxiliary weapon. I mean, our, our knife's our main weapon, but the pitchfork really comes in handy. Um, you know, for, for like secondary hits, that sort of thing. Yeah, so let's get some nails out of here. Let's see what's in the trash bin. Some jars. Yeah, we'll get a bunch of nails out of these chairs. 
Maybe get some bones. Or bone scraps, I guess it is. Then we'll just check the rest of the building and see what kind of shape it's in. Um, so yeah, they did they did some damage. Do we get nails from pews? Stamina. Um, here, let's drink. Okay, let's do um let's have a little bit of fun with with my um forgetfulness about the eye and the tap key. What I want you guys to do in the next episode, or you can even do it in this episode if you want to. Um count how many times yeah, we do get nails. Okay. Count how many times I hit the eye key and whoever whoever guesses it correctly wins um a hundred worthless old guy points, okay? Got a little ammo there. Boy, it would be just a wonderful thing if we could find a toilet pistol. It really would. I don't even know, is it possible to find a toilet pistol in Ravenhurst? Okay. So, yeah, I mean, there's damage down here, but I'd... You know, they busted this block out. Ooh, look at all my arrows here. Let's re... Let's gather these... Gather these back up. I was trying to say grab and gather at the same time, so it came out kind of weird. So, yeah, we will definitely take some more. I was able to hit quite a few of them here because they were in my view until they busted out that splock, and then they, you know, they never came back after that. So, there's some more arrows here, too. Let's pick these up. Don't let Marlene hit us. Okay. Okay, we gotta be careful because I'm encumbered, and if she starts running, we might have a hard time getting away from her. You did. Okay, let's um search these sinks real quick. Because if we use this building again, which we very well might do, you know, this stuff's going to eventually all get destroyed, so we should loot it now whilst we can. But yeah, I mean, successful Horde Knight in the sense that we survived, uh, and we're never really in danger at any point in time. And honestly, you know, uh, being as how this is Ravenhurst, I haven't really noticed the hordes, at least in the early game, being any worse than they are in vanilla. Um, I, there was a definite uh, difference, a noticeable difference in, um, uh, whatchamacallit, whereas UK on those hordes, even early on. But in, in here, at least from what I've seen, and maybe it's just because, you know, I've, my progression has been so damn slow, game stages and all that. Um, but you know, I just haven't really noticed them that much worse, if we're, if any worse, than you know vanilla is at this point. So, okay, uh, trash can. Let's get that looted. Some more of that stuff. All right. So yeah, there's definitely damage in here, but I mean the the structure as a whole seems to still be you know, reasonably intact. They did take out some of those blocks, um, but not enough for me to be concerned that it could could collapse. I mean, these blocks here are really important to the center of the floor staying up, and they didn't really touch them. Um, they mostly decided to concentrate on this area, and as long as these blocks are in place here, um, I've you know, they could potentially take this whole... Holy crap, 20,000? That Those are plates, though. Yeah, those are plates. Um, you know, they could potentially take this whole thing down and the building still could hold up with these supports. So I'm not worried about, you know, having to really fix a whole lot up in here. I think we're it's going to be fine for the next horde uh, if we decide, you know, that we do this again, which as, as of right now, I'm tentatively planning on that unless I come up with a better solution. It's all about, you know, having the resources that we need to to build, upgrade, whatever, you know, we can uh, to have an effective fight with the horde. And, you know, that's not going to happen until we can progress more. But, you know, I'm working on it, and uh, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Okay, let's get this harvested for the nails and stuff, and we'll check these lockers and see if there's anything good. We're starting to get super encumbered here again. Okay, some more of those. 
This building is, um, I, I'm tempted to move here, but the problem is we don't really want to have our horde base in, uh, and our normal base to be one and the same. It's just not a good idea to do that in general. Uh, okay, sewing kit, that's good. I'm going to just scrap that straight up because we already have it, and I can use the leather. Nothing in there. Um, let's wrench the chair because we get good stuff from it if we wrench it as opposed to breaking it. And then we're going to be so heavy we can hardly move. I'm being super, super, super conservative with my pipe wrench because I cannot repair it. It's below 100 durability. All right, so let's let's keep the moldy backpack to put more stuff in. Um, these are really high quality padded boots. And we'd only lose one armor rating if we wore them. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Um, at pl plus, we'll get bonuses, you know, with quietness and that sort of thing. Uh, what can we live without? Let's scrap this. We have more of those. Um, let's get rid of the lead. Get rid of the nitrate, because we can get that in quantity when the time comes for us to need it by just mining it. And... Um, what else can we get rid of? Did we make a jar mold? I can't remember. Can I move enough? To, yeah, okay. I can move enough to get back upstairs and drop a few more things off. That was the main thing. All right, I think we've most, for the most part, um, <clears throat> excuse me, looted the both floors of this place. Um, so that way, you know, now the zombies can tear it apart as much as they want, and we're not going to lose anything loot-wise. Let's get up here. Uh, oh, this, I thought this was the side that our ladder's on. Oh, here it is. Oh, look at all the arrows. Because there was a point in time when I was standing up on that ledge and shooting down here. And you can see how many times I missed because <laughs> it's just terrible, man. Uh, but that's okay because we can get our arrows back. Beautiful thing, actually. Beautiful thing. Okay, cool. We'll take it. So how many arrows? We got 124 back, so I had, I don't know, do we have like something like 70, I think, um, when the Horde Night was over. So we, we recovered quite a few arrows, which is a beautiful thing. All right, well, I'm going to drop this stuff off here and um, at some point, you know, haul it all over to the place. But we, we're too encumbered right at the moment here. Let's just use this to see if we can move a couple things over quickly. There we go. Um, is that enough for me to, yeah, I think I can move enough to get the rest of the stuff back to the base and then I'll come back and get this other stuff at some other point in time. Um, I also want to get my wood frames back. So, and I'll, if we use this again, I need to make uh, six, six more of the wood, uh, uh, bars for that. Okay. So let's go home. And I think the trader has reset because it's day 15, so we're going to stop off and see if he happens to have a claw hammer for sale. And then uh, we'll go from there. So I'll meet you over at the trader after I drop this stuff off. All right, let's see if the trader happens to have a hammer. Let me see your inventory. You got an AK. Um, let's just do this way. Hammer. He's got an iron sledgehammer, but he doesn't have a claw hammer. Crap. Okay, what about here? Nope, nothing in his secret stash either. Okay, well, let's see. What does he does he have? He, uh, you know what? We got we to gotta make sure we don't let the, the trader's place get banged up because these guys can damage it in this mod. Ronnie McDonnie, I'll leave the trader alone. Uh, well, we got a couple of points, too, that we need to spend. We'll kill Steve, too. Okay, they're both dead. Uh, it has this reset, too. No, it hasn't. So I guess the... I guess the vending machines don't reset at all in this game, or in this mod. You are going to die, right, Steve? Yep. Okay. All right, let's look and see what he's got again. Um, look at your inventory. Okay, so we'll just 
look at the whole list here. Um, these are pretty much out of our reach. Bicycle chassis. Yeah, all that stuff's too expensive for us at this point in time. Just looking to see. Hunting. Ooh, cheap hunting rifle. Hmm. Okay. Keep, we'll keep that in mind. If I bought something like that, it would actually be for the purpose of hunting because, well, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, too expensive for us. Bar stool, cabinet glue. Does he have any bullets? Yeah, that's just way out of reach for us right now. If he had just straight up bullets, they would be in here, but he doesn't. Um, so this is the only gun we could potentially um, get. You guys were saying that we could sell certain things. Okay, so it looks like we can sell glasses. We can sell robotic sledges. We can sell... Oh. Okay, so looks like there actually are quite a few things we can sell. I guess when I checked this before, I must have just been on things he's he wasn't interested in. Because, yeah, there's a lot of things. Okay, we need to... We need to take stock of that and bring some things over here to sell to him then. Um, now that I know that I can. I was, you know, like I said, I was thinking we couldn't. Let's look at his secret stash. Um, you can't take a 9mm bullet apart and get the bullet. You just get brass. I tried that already in case anybody's thinking along those lines. There's a green hunting rifle. Okay, well, he doesn't really have anything super fantastic, unfortunately. Um... Does he even have a wrench? He doesn't even have a wrench for us. Okay. So, yeah, um, I might gather up some things. You know, some of the our, our loot that we have that I think we can part with and bring it over here. You come back sometime. And sell it to him, you know, so we can start building up some cash. Uh, we can always, you know, think about doing some of his quests, too, to get more money and XP. Um... There's no reason why we can't do that either, of course. But uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is go over to back over to our horde base and just get the rest of the Lutskis. And then hmm, I'm trying to think of what we can do for the rest of this episode. Uh, we still need to find a hammer. I mean, that is still like the big ginormous roadblock that, that we got. Um, oh, I know what. We, we had started to go through this POI here, but we never... Uh, we never actually finished it, or you know, I don't know if that PR where the one that has the big bunker. So let's uh, let me get all my stuff back out of here, um, get that situated, and then we'll go back and continue that POI for the rest of this episode. All right, guys, uh, I'm back and I gathered up some things to sell to the trader. So let's do that first before we go uh, any further. Uh, so let's see, we can sell this, this. All of this stuff, we get 104 for those. I have Lucky you, goggles on soon. already, so I just wanted to double check and make sure that I did, in fact, have those on, which I do. So we'll sell those. I don't care about the die. Uh, we want to keep these. And then let's sell. I looked at, you know, what it would take to make a, a cloth armor repair kit, and it takes duct tape, and duct tape is really precious right now. So I'm just going to sell this stuff as is. Uh, we have an extra puffer coat. Uh, back at the base, and um, I'm just going to sell those things too. Uh, we don't want to sell our agility glasses. Okay, so that gets us up to 1648. Um, this I should actually put on a, a piece of armor. I should have put a dock on it. I should put it on that um, that cloth headpiece, and we would have gotten more money, but I didn't think about it. So we'll save that for another time. Uh, so that gets us up to 1648. So he had that cheap ass hunting rifle. Uh, let's consider that again. We can buy this, and I've got 762 ammo. I have some hunting rifle parts back at the base, but I don't have everything that we need to make a full hunting rifle. So the question is, it, it's a level 7. It's terrible, terrible durability. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, it would be helpful for long shots, of course, uh, taking out deer, that sort of thing. Ah, f it. Let's just do it. Okay, that was probably a mistake, but I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. Much obliged, stranger. Okay, so we have our first gun. 
And um, we have plenty of 7.62. I have over a full stack of 7.62 ammo back at the base. Um, so we now have a rifle, <coughs> excuse me, that we can use for long shots. And um, we will we'll start using it. And I do have a couple of gun repair kits. Well, you know what, though? This is below 100 durability, so that means I can't even repair it. I don't know. Well, oh, shit. Uh, like I said, that might not have been the best move, but I feel good about it by virtue of the fact that we now have an actual gun. <laughs> a real gun. Uh, so let's just take uh, a stack of those with us, and we'll put, uh, we'll put this back. So, yeah, I mean, I do have parts... Uh, I've got a, I've got, yeah, I've got rifle barrels and a rifle receiver, but I don't have the stock for it because uh, these are for um, shotguns and this is for some of, well, wait a minute. Can we, can we actually use these? Well, is This is, should be for the, oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, I'm not even sure if I can do this in my own inventory, though. So, recipes, hunting rifle. Yeah, it's not even unlocked. Um, and I don't know, you know, ooh, M98 sniper rifle. That's going to be fun when the time comes. M1 Garand, JNG90 sniper. Cool. Um, I don't know if we have to have, like, an actual gun bench or at least a workbench, but it doesn't matter because I don't have the, the skill to do that regardless. So, yeah, it just doesn't matter. Uh, all right, so cool. We got ourselves a hunting rifle now, as as bad as it is, <laughs> which is pretty bad. So we're gonna put the hunting rifle here, and let's. Uh, it's already loaded. Nice. Uh, but this will help for hunting, actual hunting. You know, when we see deer and boar and stuff, and you know, we can even pop zombos in the head with it too. Okay, so let's go back to our POI here that we started and didn't get all the way through so i think we were already on the ground floor and we might yeah we're gonna oh shit we're gonna have repops too that we're gonna have to deal with so uh, you'll notice too that i put I actually put the tempered blade mod on the pitchfork and let me do it, which was kind of surprising, but I'm glad I did because this will actually give us more durability on the pitchfork. All right, so we had actually gotten down to the basement. Um, even if there are Zeke's up here, let's see if we can just bypass them and just continue on and get down into the bunker. Um, now, like I said, I think I think there might be some tool crates in the bunker. So, okay, before we go in there, um, we had a zombo behind that counter last time, and there's probably one there again. But I just want to see, you know, there's something that we can loot in there. So, here, uh, no? Oh, okay, good. No zombo. And so, yeah, there we go. Uh, ammo pile. Let's see what's in there. Ammo. Ammo's in the ammo pile. There you go. How about a wrench? No wrench in there. Let's see what's in here. Some beverage, maybe? There we go. A couple of red teas. Always welcome. And here. Seat packed. Okay, always check the trash. Or duct tape and stuff like that. No safe behind there. Alright, I'm not going to worry about harvesting these couches right now. So let's go through here. I'm not really planning on using the rifle indoors. We are going to save it for, for single shot hunting hits, that sort of thing. Uh, I guess I could turn my graphics up too. All right, that, we're going to, hmm, eight coin, that's not really much. Let's just grab it. You have to kind of factor, you know, s s hanging on to that, taking up an inventory spot. Also, you can get eight more coin, it, you know, it's just not, in my opinion, worth it. 80 coin, yeah, we'd hang on to it. Eight coin, nah, not going to happen. Besides, it might even be worth more. Uh, there's another way to say this. Our worst fears come true. The zombies are for real. Okay, hold on. It would appear as if our worst fears have come true. Those infected with the recent virus have, uh, and have passed are somehow rising from the dead and consuming the flesh of others. There is no way for us to say this. Our worst fears come true. The zombies are real. Okay. I don't think I can do anything else with that other than scrap it. Because, right, yeah, there's no recipe option. Okay. Let's go in here. It's a little dark in here. Uh, search the storage box. Nothing. Man, what the hell? Cardboard box. More 762 ammo. I'll take it. I will take it. Is there anything up here? No, there isn't, but we got some cabinets here. Let's see what's in these. Four jars after all that. I'll bet you there's going to be a zombo behind there. Let's get rid of the... Yeah, see? Two zombos. Okay. Um, you know what? Darn it. I should have had my... should have had my barricades on the toolbar. Are they coming to the door? Yeah, I was going to say. What the hell? Okay, let's get some bleeds on you. 
Need to get some bleeds on Big Mama too if we can. Whoa. Okay, I think I hit her. Okay, Cowboy Bob. You should have your second bleed. And then we'll just pitchfork you. Big Mom's gonna break that in the next hit or two. That, oh shit. Okay, let's give her another bleed. Big Mama, you're bleeding all over the place. There we go. Okay, so, um, continuing on from here, we got another box here. What's some 9 mil ammo in it? I'll take that. Guess it doesn't matter if we trigger that now because we've already woken up the sleepers that were in here. Uh, yeah, I'll take the brass for sure. Not sure about the moldy bread. I know it can be useful, but usually in this game, I am, uh, you know, I, I have looted enough antibiotics by the time I can make them that it's not really worth it. So we're going to toss that. We're going to keep this, but I am going to scrap it just, you know, to save, uh, save space here. And do -do 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 -do. let's, I know the paper in the cloth is valuable, but again, we have to, we have to think about saving space. Okay, let's get that going on into here. Um, there is a person here. Can we get to it? We're not having to break stuff just to save durability on our tools. Okay, $16 dollar Mikihana. And let's go down here into this part of the tunnel. <coughs> And we're going to run into Zeke's here pretty soon. It's been a while since I've been down here. Okay, so we have two two sleepers or one sleeper? Two sleepers that we just woke up. Alright. Oh, three sleepers. Hey, you're running kind of fast, lady. Cut that out. Now, can they come up the ladder? I don't think they can, actually. Yeah, come over here where I can hit you. Oh, shit. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, well... We're gonna do this the fun way then. One for you, one for you. Ow. Another one for you, one for you. I don't want to just run all over the place because we might wake up more sleepies. Well, maybe not, but maybe this is all we have to do. It might be okay. Yeah, as long as we don't go down that hallway, we should be okay for the moment. Alright, well, we've woken up Zeke somewhere else, but I'm not exactly sure where they are. Oh, you're still over here. Are you stuck? Ah, uh, sucks to be you, buddy. Really, really sucks to be you. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's not stuck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he did. Oh, we can rip these off for barricades. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. It's gonna take a long time. I might come back and do it after I'm done with the episode. Alright, let's check this thing for a pipe wrench. What the hell was that? Pickled fish! Okay. Ugh. You know, I've had pickled herring before, and I have to say, don't, don't really care for it too much. Just don't, you know? If you do, more power to you, but it's not something old guy is into a whole lot. Okay. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's check the bookcase. Alright, Pistol Peep Volume 3, you are more accurate when rapid fire 9mm weapons. And I think these are just scrap -a doodles Um, or paper and stuff. Okay. Alright, anything else critical that we should be looting? Uh, that we will take. We do not care about the lead. It's easy, 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 easy to get from mining. There's no point in taking up an inventory slot with it. Now, let's check this out. Okay, that, we already have a college jacket, but we're going to sell that. That's worth hanging on to to sell. Okay. Uh, let me check here. No, we didn't. Uh, I don't need another flashlight. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to take this. Okay. Alright, let's see. We're going to get rid of that because it's just not enough to worry about hanging on to. Um, we're going to drink both of these now. Which will get us um, our, our hydration probably maxed out. And I uh, don't think I'm going to hang on to those. I've got several of those back at the base. So that still give, makes us three things over in combat, but we'll deal with that. Alright, let's proceed. Oh shit! Blech. Where did you come from, man? Eh? Two applications. We just have to play ring around the roses with him until he drops. Oh, he's dead. Wait, is he? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, so, continuing along here, let's check the trashes. Some concrete and cobblestone that we could nab with a shovel. Ooh, that was nice. Always happy to find duct tape and sewing kits. Never could figure out, oh shit, why we couldn't make, can't make sewing kits. One of you guys actually pointed out in the, in the comments, you said something to the effect of, we can make all this really high-tech stuff, you know, like an M60 machine gun, whatever. But we can't make a sewing kit, you know? It's like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the hell's up with that? Oh, Arlene, slow down. No need to get in a hurry here. Yeah. She should be dropping. Oh, she dropped a bag. Thank you, Arlene. What you got in here? Oh, decent stuff, man. We'll take food and honey. Absolutely. We are now eight things in comfort, though, unfortunately. But let's just continue on for the moment. So Arlene, this was her bedroom. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely bedroom. Absolutely wonderful place to have your bedroom. Alright, let's go down here. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so further on down, deeper into the bowels of this place. Let's check the trash here. Uh, yep, I will take all of that. That gets us nine things encumbered now. And we have friends. Big Mama? Can they get up the ladder? They cannot. Okay, so let's get down far enough to get him. Hey! Oh shit! You threw me down here with Big Mama! 
That is not what I want to have happen here. Okay, let's come back up here. Can he get up here? There we go. I never want to play comes together. All right, let's check this trash pile. More so it gets beautiful. Anybody in here? We are looking for a hammer. Yes, we are. Maybe we'll find one in this ice chest. No, oh, we found beer though. We need that for the, um, we need that for the, 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 the insect trap thing. Okay, this is all just scrap stuff. World War Z. Let's see what's in here. Okay, that we can turn into scrap. I don't think anybody's coming this way. Uh, that's a sign. This, I think we'll take this. We'll put that, that mod on it, that helmet mod, and sell it. I'm not going to take the rest of that stuff. Oh, nice. Okay. We'll take that, and we'll scrap a little this. We are starting to get to the point where encumbrance is becoming a serious problem. Now, is there anything I can get rid of? I don't really want to throw out 54 paper or 11 jars. Uh, yeah, so we could throw out two coffee, I guess. Uh, we don't need screws. We, can, we have a mold for screws, so we don't need to carry those. Okay, that's all I'm willing to throw away. Okay, so we're not going to really be able to go too much further here, only because of encumbrance problems. So what I might end up doing is... We kind of don't even really need to keep taking junk nails either. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go back home and drop this stuff off and then come back. Because we can't. It's getting too dangerous for us to function uh, with this much encumbrance. So let's go do that really quick. Uh, I forgot about this. We should be able to... No, we can't. <coughs> we can't. Oh, this is a bit of a conundrum. We can't nerd pull up there. We can't make a ladder because we need a freaking workbench. I should, maybe I should just start carrying those workbenches with me. Um, Alright, what about this? Let's keep that closed for a second. So we could do this. This and this. Now, is it going to work? Because I don't have any plants for my head to get up there. Can I? Wait, okay, let's get right in the middle here. Can I just do one lock up? No, nope, not going to let me do it, is it? Hmm. Okay, this is, uh, this is fun. This is fun. Uh, don't... Uh, how? Okay, hold on a sec. Let's do this. Let's go here, 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 here. Yeah, that's 2,500 hit points. I mean, I could knock it out with my pick, but... Ah, uh, that's too much screwing around, man. That's too much screwing around. Let's just keep going. And we'll see how far we can get without... Uh, I won't loot anything more to speak of uh, for now. Um, we'll just try to move through it and then we can, you know, we can backtrack for looting. Because I think, I think I actually already mentioned the fat loot's out of here anyway, so um, that's already been done, right? Uh, where is my... Here, let's grab that. Let's put the, those back down there. Uh, we don't need three cloth. Honestly, guys, because I can now make nails, I'm just going to throw these out. I wouldn't if I, if I felt like I could afford to hang on to them. Uh, I'm going to check the coffee too. Hate to do it. Really do, but we just need the room. And we're going to also eat the tuna and the soup stock now. Again, for the same purpose. To give ourselves a little more room. A light bulb. I don't think that's super important for us to have. Plus, I have some back in the face. Anyway, and there. That gets us back to only six slots of encumbrance. Are we good? I think we're good. Okay, let's move through here. Uh, wherever that Z is, it sounds very close. Alright, so we got doofus here. Ow. Oh, we got a doofus there too. Okay, let's get over here. Oh, up there. That's a daisy. Okay, we're good. Oh, the fat loots are actually just right up there. So is it just... These two guys down here? If it is, we might as well kill them, right? There's three of them. Okay, let's go back down here. Can he get on the ladder? I'll try and get uh, two for the price of one here. Or four for the price of one. I gotta reload everybody here. Edgar, oh shit, get off the ladder, Edgar. He's kind of coming up and he's kind of not. Reloaded. That one's loaded. Okay, so all the guns are reloaded. Okay. Let's get them reloaded again. Are left. Is it just Edgar? Because if it's just Edgar, let's just dispatch him with the Kanaiki. He's already damaged, so. Oh, yep, he's down. Whew, okay, so we took care of all the Zekers on this uh, in this area here. Um, is there any significant loot that we shouldn't be passing up? You know what? What the hell? I'm just gonna check all the trash. Uh, 
we're not taking any of that. We're going to be very selective about what we do take. Um, anything over here that might be hidden? Yeah, look at that. It's a moldy backpack. Um, so for 22, eh, that's borderline. I think under the circumstances, we're not going to grab that. We're not going to grab it. Okay. I don't think there's anything else down here, as far as I know. There might be, but if there is, so well. Too bad. Let's go. Let's get up here. Walk over to here. Okay, we've got the uh, Baldy there. Why don't we do a sneaky sneak off on him? Right in the noggin. Oh, he's mad. Okay. He did. Let's check the crashes and the stuff in here. Come on, give me some bandages. Like some real ones. Please, 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 you son of a... Any Zeke's in here? Oh, shit! <laughs> I scared the hell out of me. <laughs> He's like just right there in my face. Dude, don't be doing that. I'm too old for, for that kind of excitement. Just saying. Bring around the rosy. Pocket full of posy. Ashes, ashes, and you fall down. Please, just do it. There you go. That's a good zombie. Okay, let's check this. Uh, nothing in there. I want to grab the, uh, the brass, so we'll put this down here. Okay, we got lockers. Suit pants for eight. Nope, not going to grab them. We need something that's... Yeah, those only sell for eight, too, so we're not grabbing those. We will take the arrows, though, of course. Yeah, oh, nice. Okay, we found another set of nerdy, so we can sell the other for 100 and some odd coin. This sells for 48. That's just barely worth grabbing. And hang on to it, I think. Uh, take that. This is not worth grabbing. Okay. We have a bookshelf here. Come on, give us a hammer schematic. Please, pretty please, hammer schematic. Um, we can craft diamond tip tools, okay? That'll maybe come in handy later. I've never found the diamond tip thing to be all that useful because by the time you can craft it, you already have a damn auger anyways, you know what I'm saying? So, not a big fan. Okay, is there another Zeke in here? Like in the other bathroom? Hello? Oh yeah, there is. We actually didn't wake him up. Wow. Okay. Um, then let's do this. Let's go here. I almost hit the I key, but this time I didn't. You guys proud of me? Damn. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna get rid of this. We're going to do 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 do. I think we're good. Okay. Let's put that there. Now let's see if we can crouch. Get over here. The door. And oh, this might be a good. I hit I key. Damn it. <laughs> uh, this might be a good opportunity to use our hunting rifle for the very first time. Here we go. Oh shit. <laughs> we have like no skill in hunting rifle. Skill points. Holy crap. We need to look at those. All right, let's take this back off and go check the bathroom. Got some medical supplies. Come on, bandages. Please, please. That is not bandages. Oh, but we just got ourselves a steroids. Beautiful. Okay, we'll probably end up putting that to use. Uh, I'm going to take that coffee to make up for throwing out the other coffee. I should be ashamed of myself for doing that. Nothing in there that we want. Nothing in there. Uh, okay. Uh, nope, we don't need that. So, have we looted everything in here now? Uh, we got that, right? Did we check these toys? No, we didn't. In fact, I don't think we checked anything in here because we had a crap scared out of us by that Zeker. Uh, nope. Not gonna take the shit. Chance for a wrench. Come on, game. Ha 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 What? Alright. And that, that's repairable, too, because it's over 100. That was worth the price of admission, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed it was. Okay. Um, let's just take these now. Uh, or rather this now, because we need to. Just makes us a little thirsty, but we got stuff to drink, so we're good to go. Really, that doesn't unlock the last line, though, huh? Very interesting. Okay, let's get over here. Up here. There's a gumball machine over there. What do you know? Nope, not taking that. Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, we're making those right now. We're going we're gonna to really be thirsty now, but you know what? We need, to, we need some healing going on here. Uh, so let's just chug back, like, at least two of these. Probably should take three. Because we're going to need it by the time the steroids and the pain pills are done doing their, their business with us. Uh, okay, any Zeke's behind here? No Zeke's. Wow, look at that. Okay, chance for another wrench, maybe? No, okay, we'll check the stove, but we're probably just going to yeah, find that kind of thing in there, which we don't need. And we might as well grab that since we already, <coughs> excuse me, have a, a bunch of jars. Empty jars. Give us some coffee. No coffee. Flour. Alright, well, I guess we'll take it since we have, um, look at this, that's cool. You know, since we have, um, room now to carry stuff, right? Okay, so here's what's going to happen here. We're going to, we're going to jump over there and we're going to wake up a bunch of Zeeks and, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Okay, so. Uh, what we're going to do now is jump back over here. And so who do we got? We got Fatso, Edgar, and Skater Punk. And yeah, go ahead and come on up here. And we'll get some bleeds going on you. Uh, we need bleeds on you too. Whoop. Now let's play Ring Around the Rosies. Okay, where's Fatso? 
He must, he must have dropped down, right? Did he drop down? There's no other zombies back here, is there? No, there is some cobble that we can get later. Anybody back here? Nope. Yeah, cobble and, and cement. We should be coming back here for this. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little chunk of brass. Take pipe action. Okay, I think that's all the lootable stuff. Like I said, we've already looted all this here, so we had our, we ate our dessert before our supper with all that, but that's okay. Okay, so let's kill these Zeke so we can get the XP. Then we're going to look at our skill points and then we need to wrap up this episode. Where are you all coming from? Nurse Nancy? Let's just give you some little bleed action. Two, three, four, five, and you're dead. Come around this way. Okay, so she's gone. Skater punks. Oh, shit. Every Nancy, die. Nancy, die. Thank you. Don't be hitting me after I just took a pain pill. I don't know how many... Okay, yeah, Edgar's dead. I was gonna say, I don't know how many bleeds I've actually gotten on him. Alright, we gotta take care of Fatso next. You were pretty fast for, for a big boy there. Well, actually not that fast. Right in the belly. Yeah, go that way, stupid. <laughs> Got another nurse, Nancy. Where are they all coming? Oh, you know what? I wonder if they're coming from up above. I'm like, well, where the hell are these guys all coming from? Because we only had, I think we only had three original sleepers in here. Come on, Fatso, die. There you go. You tough son of a bitch. <laughs> He's so damn tough. Okay. Okay, Nancy's down. Let's get Cowboy Bob. Right in the nuts. Oh, we lost our knife. I should have paid attention because we can't. It's like completely gone now. Oh, well. Will you get the hell out of here? There you go. Okay, yeah, that's too bad. We lost our knife, but it is what it is. Oh, shit. Give me your head, Bob. Oh, he ducked. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, okay, we gotta be careful of our blue blunder because it is almost broken, and I don't want to lose it because it's a blue, a blue blunder. Blue blunder. Blue blunder. Blunder. Whew. Okay, I think all those other Zeeks were just outside Zeeks. So let's... Let's get the hell out of here. Um, Hopefully they don't drop down on our head while we're trying to get the hell out of here. There's Steve. Oh, you need to stay away from our, our workbench. Steve! Okay, let's use this blunder. Oh, shit! How many times? I had a dime, right? Okay. Right in the face. Right in your face, man! Ow! Okay, so load this one. That was loaded too. This one's not. Alright. And you dead. Okay, how, <coughs> how many more zigs do we have? Eh, let's screw those guys. Let's get back up to the roof door points and wrap up the episode. Oh uh, yeah, points. Let's take a look. We've got a total of five points to spend. Look at that. Alright, so what are what are our priorities? If we go to action skills and we go to construction tools. We need five, uh, I'm sorry, we need 20 construction tools in order to get scrap tools, which will allow us to make the claw hammer, which we so desperately need. So the question I need to ask myself is, do I really want to spend points on something that I'm eventually going to get by just doing or not? I, I'm trying to think, what could I do with, you know, using the stone hammer accounts for construction tools so but the problem is or the challenge i should say with the ravenhurst it's not like vanilla so i can't just like make 100 wood frames and then upgrade 100 wood frames wood frames uh, because it costs quite a bit of resources to do that it's not that simple on the other hand do i really want to spend very hard to get points on something that i'm eventually going to get just naturally anyways that's kind of the conundrum here. So, oh boy, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe we were, we had been working on uh, living off the land so we could make the farmer's table. But my gut tells me that we need to hold out and we need to put points into the stuff that really matters and not put it into stuff that's going to come naturally. Uh, that's kind of what, what I'm thinking here. So... What do we make with Tinkerer? So we can craft workbenches. Well, yeah, but well, we could craft workbenches and cement mixers with Tinkerer. Uh, but we already know how to craft workbenches anyways. But we don't know how to do cement mixer yet. 
Um, we could start working on Grease Monkey. So that, you know, if we could get into a vehicle, that would be nice, especially if we end up having to leave this town and explore, you know, other places, which of course we have to do eventually anyway. Um, so maybe it would be a good idea for us to start working towards this because we have a working workbench and I think that's all, hopefully, well, who knows with this mod, <laughs> hopefully that's all we need though, to make the bicycle. And we already learned the bicycle handlebars anyways. Not that that matters because once we get this, we'll already know how to make them. Um, so we need intellect level two to get that. And we just got it. Okay, so now let's take Grease Monkey 1. And could... What's the pop possibility of getting the mini bike? That would take Intellect 4. Um, which we could get... Ooh. Maybe we could just say screw the bicycle and go right to... There you go. <laughs> All right. So we have the knowledge... Now, to make the mini bike, the question is, what is this crazy ass mod going to actually require of us to do it? Um, and gas. Yeah, gas is going to be fun, too. So, I'll bet you, you know what, I, I might have just screwed up. Because I wonder if some of these quests would have eventually led us to that, you know? But here's the thing about that. It's it's taken so damn long, you know, to do all this stuff. And, you know, if we can get a mini bike now, that's just going to make such a big difference that even if I am kind of getting the cart before the, uh, before the horse a little bit, so what, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's it's done. It's it's already water under the bridge. Whether I should have done it or not, it's too late. So we've already done it, so we're just going to move forward. Okay, so that being said, let's go to here, and I'm sure we have to make the mini bike in the workbench, which is fine. Okay, so the chassis and the handlebars, okay, that's all the normal stuff, or mostly the normal stuff. So we can do that. We might even have everything we need already to do that. What about the wheels? Rubber strips, tire rim. See, I only have one of those. The rest of this is not a big deal. I don't remember where I got the tire rim from. Um, I probably, uh, maybe I took apart a wheel. Oh, we have two tire rims. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. Never mind. We're good. Okay. So, guys, uh, the plan for next episode is to see if we can actually, in factually, make ourselves a mini bike uh, i do have a little bit of gas but we are gonna have to get more gas and you know we'll we'll go based up off of the uh, quest anyway you know this one here the war for gas and keep working on that as we get more gas and then uh, could just kind of see how things go from there but yeah um even if i'm making the mini bike sooner than i should be quest wise i don't care uh, i think it was probably Maybe not the best move, but not a terrible move either, because it's going to make a big difference, especially, like I said, if we end up having to leave this town. No, let me rephrase that. When we end up having to leave this town to go do other stuff. Okay, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.